One of the most common ways of preventing food from going bad is to keep it cool using the fridge. But before the days of the modern refrigerator, a more difficult process was undergone to keep food chilled. Ice cutting. In cold regions where lakes and ponds would freeze, workers would cut and collect ice and store it through the summer in a building called an ice house. Ice from this supply would then be transferred to each person's ice box to chill their food, which would need to be continuously replenished as their ice melts. In places where it didn't freeze in the winter, ice would be shipped from colder regions to all around the world. There's some evidence that shows ice houses dating back as far as 1780 BC in Mesopotamia. However, it wasn't until improved harvesting tools and techniques made it more affordable that the ice business became widespread in the 1800s. It was around this time that Frederick Tudor pioneered and eventually became rich off of international ice trade. He shipped ice from lakes in Boston to the southern US, the Caribbean, and even as far as a four month journey to India. However, the invention of the home refrigerator in the early 1900s eventually wiped out the labor intensive ice industry. But in more remote regions without electricity, ice cutting remained the best option still for many years. For some expertise in trying out this method of preservation myself, I traveled to the Thunderbird Lodge near International Falls to get some help from Mike, who grew up harvesting ice himself at the resort. We're at Rainy Lake right near the Canadian border in northern Minnesota and get some ice. So can you tell me a little bit about the whole ice cutting? Why, why, do, you, why do people do this? Well, back in the old, old days, before refrigeration, uh, it was a necessity, you know, for the different resorts or lake cabins or commercial fishermen. Usually when there was enough ice, like around the holidays, they'd get a crew together and they'd get out on the lake, they'd shovel it all off. They would score out a grid pattern on the ice and they'd have a slide going into uh, a, a, an ice house and uh, they would just take one cake of ice out at a time as they were cutting them and slide them up in the ice house and keep building it up and up and up and up until they had sufficient ice to uh, to last all summer. And of course it was done not only to uh, preserve uh, the fish, you know, for the resorts or the commercial fishermen, but also uh, groceries because, you know, nobody had electricity. I'm here to do that now, so what all do you do for it? We're kind of stepping way back in time with this particular saw here. Yeah. You know, just give it a try and see how much work it is. <laughs> sure. I'm starting to feel in the arms, getting a little sore, <laughs> a little tired. I don't know if I can do all of our ice this way. <laughs> Well, we got the top layer of slush off. Oh, almost. <laughs> that is nice ice. Ooh. Look at that, huh? That's heavy. We got one block. That was a lot of work. What do you think that weighs? Oh, more than I expected. <laughs> So, just need a dozen more of these, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would suggest that uh, we use a chainsaw. Yeah. And we'll just go along and cut up one block at a time. And okay, that sounds much, much easier. Yeah, it sounds a little bit easier. Glad you're on you anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fall in a hole, I've seen that happen. <laughs> you have to go for a polar plunge. <laughs> I feel like I need a giant glass and a ton of scotch. All right, just harvested nine blocks. Ready to load them up. With the blocks all cut, we headed back home and moved them to a location with some decent shade. Inside the ice, I put an assortment of food to test out just how well my ice house will work at preserving food. Then to actually insulate the ice, I surrounded it with sawdust. Then I just had to cover it up to protect it from the rain and sun. 
One month later, I returned to check on it. Hmm. So a lot shorter now. It's probably not a good sign. Ooh. That has gotten a bit smaller. There's the food parcel. All right. So, got eight blocks left. Still ice. It's been a little bit over a month. And uh, temperatures fluctuate a lot. Been a lot of 90 degree days during that span. And yet, a fair amount of ice survived. So, check on the food and uh, maybe it survived. Good. I need this. So I was pretty skeptical about this whole icebox refrigerator. We made a very, very makeshift one. I wasn't too sure how well it turned out, but it actually worked out pretty well. Pretty much everything actually got pretty well preserved. Uh, better than I'd even expect. I think I've stored stuff in an actual refrigerator and not had it last this well. Banana was a little brown, but that's more just what happens when you refrigerate bananas. Overall, pretty good success. A lot better than I expected.